Everything in this video is strictly for informational and educational purposes only. I am not a financial advisor and this should not be taken as financial advice. I am merely sharing my own experience and giving my own opinions based on my own personal experience. I cannot guarantee you will make money nor that you will have the same results as me. It is always encouraged for you to do your own research and not simply rely on the information provided in this video. If you have questions, feel free to comment down below and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello mga katropa! Ayan guys, so good news para dun sa mga na miss out ang pre-sale 1.0 and pre-sale 2.0 ng money coin of Monster Infinite because the money token will be available on exchanges by September 16, 6pm GMT plus 0. That is September 17, 2 a.m. dito sa atin sa Pilipinas guys. So we have a few more hours to go before that happens. So I'm going to just do a very quick tutorial guys kung paano natin pwedeng gawin ito. Although I will also try to do a live stream later para mapakita ko sa inyo kung paano yung actual na pagsuswap or pagbibili ng money token. But basically, we're going to do it via pancake swap, guys. Ayan. So, pancake swap is one of the exchanges where the money token will be available. And bakit pancake swap yung gagawin kong tutorial ngayon, guys? Kasi ito yung pinakamadali. Ito yung pinakamadali na gamitin. Ito yung pinakamadali for people na iba-iba yung gamit nilang BEP20 wallet or iba-iba yung prefer ng mga trading platform. So sa Pancake Swap kasi mas versatile siya. Yung gagamitin yung BEP20 wallet for the game, yun din nang pwedeng yung gamitin dito pambili ng money token sa Pancake Swap. At the same time, if you're one of those people na na-refund yung BNB nung oversubscription for pre-sale 2.0 and medyo kinulang kayo ng money token na nabili, hindi niyo na kailangan magpa-reload because yung BNB nyo na nirefund sa inyo, yun na yung pwede nyong pambili ng money token sa pancake swap. Now, kung bago ka pa lang sa crypto guys, at lalong lalo na bago ka pa lang sa Monster Infinite, ano ba yung mga kailangan mo para makabili ka ng money token sa pancake swap? First of all guys, you need a BEP20 wallet katulad ng Metamask. Ayan. So, kung hindi nyo pa alam paano mag-create ng Metamask account, may tutorial ako kung paano gumawa niyan. Ililink ko na lang down sa description box. And if wala pang laman na BNB ang inyong Metamask account at kailangan yung lagyan niyan, kailangan nyo rin ng Binance account. At ililink ko rin yan sa description box kung paano kayo makakagawa ng sarili yung Binance account as well as yung tutorial kung paano kayo magpapapalit ng pera nyo from peso to BNB in Binance at kung paano nyo ito mapapadala or matatransfer sa inyong Metamask account. So, again, lahat yan, ilalagay ko sa description box. Check na lang yan. Follow nyo yung tutorial. And once meron na kayong laman na BNB sa inyong Metamask account, ito ng next step yung gagawin natin. Ayan. So, dito sa official Facebook page ng Monster Infinite, guys, nagbigay na sila ng contract address for the money token. I actually already did this tutorial in one of my previous videos, pero uulitin ko na lang for the purpose of this video. Ayan. So, ang kailangan lang natin gawin, guys, is copy natin itong contract address na to. Ayan. So, highlight nyo lang, and then right-click, copy. Ayan. Lalagay ko din itong contract address na to, guys, sa description box, so don't worry. And then, punta kayo sa icon ng Metamask account nyo. Sa akin kasi, pingin ko na yan dito para madali kong ma-access. Pero if wala dyan, basta hanapin nyo yung Metamask account nyo, access nyo yan, open nyo yung wallet nyo. And then, once nandito na kayo sa Metamask account nyo, under Assets, scroll down nyo lang guys sa pinakababa. And then, hanapin nyo itong Add Token. Ayan. So, once nakita nyo yung Add Token guys, click lang natin yan. Ayan. And then, paste natin yung contract address na nakuha natin kanina sa official Facebook account na Monster Infinite. And then, mag-auto populate na guys yung token symbol which is money, and the token decimal, which is 18. Ayan. So, once na-fill up na yan, guys, click lang natin yung next. Ayan. And then, i-confirm lang sa atin, guys, would you like to add these tokens? 
So, sa ngayon guys, wala pa tayong money. So, ang balance dyan is zero. Pero, makikita natin yung token dito sa sabi nito money. Ayan. So, kung tama yung nilagay yung contract address, confirm nyo lang yan by clicking add tokens. Ayan. So, ayan na. Nandito na yan guys. Nandito na yung ating money token sa ating MetaMask account. So, when click back guys, under assets, makikita na rin natin yan dito, yung money. Ayan. So, once na add na natin yan guys sa ating MetaMask account, all we need to do now guys is to go to PancakeSwap. So, it's either you go to PancakeSwap.finance and then mag-login kayo from there or pwede na kayong dumiretso dito sa swap guys. So, ang URL is PancakeSwap.finance forward slash swap. Yan. Make sure guys, tama yung URL nyo. Baka mapunta kayo sa scam site or phishing site. Ito yung official website ng PancakeSwap guys. Ayan. Then, kung nakalogin na kayo guys, lalabas dito yung ibang digits ng MetaMask account niyo. Pero kung hindi pa kayo nakalogin guys, i-login nyo lang yan dyan. Okay? Now, once nakalogin na yung MetaMask account niyo guys, dito sa exchange, pipiliin nyo lang dito yung BNB. Although guys, pagpunta nyo naman sa pancakeswap.finance forward slash swap, automatic guys, usually, naka-default BNB na yan. Pero if not guys, punta lang kayo dito, click nyo lang dyan, and then select nyo yung BNB. Ayun. And then guys, sa 2, kiklik lang natin tong select a currency. Ayan. And then, ang gagawin natin guys, is ipipaste natin yung contract address ng token na nakuha natin kanina sa Facebook page ng Monster Infinite na also in natin dun sa ating MetaMask account. Ayan. So, pag-paste natin guys ng contract address, lalabas dapat yan dito guys. Yang money, which is yung Monster Infinite token. Now, you have to make sure guys na tama yung contract address na nilalagay nyo. Hindi yan fake. Kasi pag mali yan, ibang token yung mabibili nyo, hindi money. Okay? So, it's very important na itong kinopy and paste natin dito is tama. Ayan. So, if tama yung nilagay nyo, guys, lalabas na nga yung money and then monster infinite token, click lang natin yung import. Ayan. So, hihingi lang sa inyo yan ng confirmation, guys, na ito nga yung token na ina-add nyo. Pwede nyo namang i-click yung view on BSC scan to confirm na ito nga yung money token talaga itong ina-add nyo. And if sure kayo tama yan, guys, click nyo lang yung I understand, check nyo lang yan, and then click na natin yung import. Ayan. So, once ma-import na natin yan, guys, lalabas na yan dito sa 2, yung money. Ayan. And then, guys, for the slippage tolerance, itong slippage tolerance, guys, ito yung percentage amount na mag adjust yung price na i-allow nyo pa rin na mag-go through yung transaction. Kasi for most token, guys, lalong-lalo na yung mga bago at volatile, halos every second nag-change yung value nyan. And kapag nag-change yung value, ang mangyayari, hindi mag-go through yung transaction ninyo. So, pag in-increase nyo yung slippage tolerance, guys, it will ensure na yung transaction nyo mas mag-go through. But take note also, guys, na kapag in-increase natin tong slippage tolerance, mas mataas din than the usual market price natin mahukuha yung money token. Kasi nga, nag a tayo ng additional percent dun sa price na bilin natin ng token para ma-prioritize yung transaction natin or para mag-go through yung transaction natin. Ayan. So, para ma-adjust yung slippage tolerance, guys, pupunta lang tayo dito sa parang cog icon na to. Dito banda sa taas, katabi na exchange. Ayan. And then, makikita nyo yung slippage tolerance, guys. Ayan. Normally, guys, I would advise 0.5 to 1% lang ang piliin nyo para hindi malaki yung adjustment sa price na mangyayari ng bili nyo. But, it will really depend later kung gano'ng karami yung magtatransact at gano'ng kabilis umakyat yung presyo ng money token. So, I think the best thing to do is to start at 0.5%. Ayan. And if hindi mag-go through yung transaction nyo, adjust nyo na lang yung slippage tolerance. Now guys, kung gusto nyo ma-ensure na mag-go through yung transaction nyo, pwede nyo iset yung slippage tolerance ng 6%. 
Ayan. So, nakikita nyo guys, paglagay nyo ng 6% na kalagay dito, your transaction may be front run. Ibig sabihin guys, uunahin yung transaction nyo kasi medyo mataas yung slippage tolerance na nilagay ninyo. But again guys, take note, kapag ganyan kataas yung slippage tolerance nyo, magiging mataas din yung value ng bilhin nyo ng token. Okay? So, higher than the usual market value. Kasi nga, you are allowing up to 6% change in market value or market price. Ayan. So, sa ngayon, guys, kasi wala pang 2 a.m. ng September 17 dito sa atin, hindi pa available si PancakeSwap. Ayan. So, kung maglalagay ako dyan ng value, lalabas dyan insufficient liquidity for this trade. Kasi, ibig sabihin, hindi pa nakakapag-add ng liquidity for this token, hindi pa tayo makakapag-trade. Ayan. Pero basically guys, what will happen later is, ilagay nyo lang dito yung amount of BNB na gusto ninyo. And then pag nalagay nyo na, lalabas dito yung equivalent amount of money tokens. And like I said, adjust nyo na lang yung slippage tolerance according sa gusto nyo. You can start with 0.5% and tignan nyo kung mag-go through yun para mas mababa yung amount ng bilin nyo. Or kung hindi talaga mag-go through yung transaction nyo, you can go as high up as 6% liquidity guys para mag-go through yung transaction nyo. And kung kulangan pa rin yan guys at 6%, ayun nga, pataas lang ng pataas yung ilalagay nyo na slippage tolerance until sa mag-go through yung transaction ninyo. Ayan. So for example guys, may liquidity na si Moni. Pwede na tayong makabili nun. Lalabas lang dito guys, swap. So, i-click lang natin yon and then magko-confirm lang tayo ng gas fee. May lalabas sa ating MetaMask na confirmation of gas fee for the swap. Confirm lang natin yon and yun na. It should already swap your tokens, and magkakaroon na kayo ng money. And, makikita nyo yung money nyo dito. If successfully nakabili kayo ng money, lalabas dapat siya dito. Sa money token natin, sa MetaMask. Ayan. Okay. So, like I said, guys, I will try to do a live video later para actual tayong makapag-swap ng tokens natin later. Okay? So, 2 a.m. yan, guys, later. I hope abangan nyo yan and I hope hindi magloko ang internet natin. Ayan. So, aside from pancake swap, guys, magiging available din ang money token sa Ascendex on September 17, 2 a.m. Philippine time din. So, pareho lang yung time na magiging available siya. Pero, ito yon sa Ascendex. So, pwede kayo mag-sign up din dito, guys. I will do a separate tutorial on Ascendex on how to create your own account on Ascendex. Also, apart from Ascendex, guys, na-discuss ko na to kahapon, it will also be available on gate.io. Pero, sa gate.io, guys, sa September 17, 2 a.m. GMT plus 0 pa siya magiging available. That will be 10 a.m. dito sa atin Philippine time ng September 17. Ayan. So, I will also make a video tutorial on how to create your gate.io account in case dyan nyo gustong bumili. So, ayan yung mga options nyo guys where you can buy the money token. That's gate.io Ascendex and of course PancakeSwap. Ayan. So, that's it for this video, guys. Please do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bago naming uploads. So, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, bye-bye!